they often prefer the person that tends to hold their shoulders back, that leans forward, is very good at being succinct and clearly explain things. Absolutely pumped, looking forward to share with you someone that is nervous versus someone that's confident very quickly in that first part of the conversation. It's hard not to notice that both of their eyes are looking in a fairly different way. And it might indicate there's some discomfort with the situation that they're finding themselves in. Now, if you look at this slide, what's Tom saying in this scenario? He's in love with uh, Katie Holmes. He's in love with Katie Holmes. This is one of the most powerful women who is instituting, understand some Basel, th Basel three changes and you know, making banks hold more liquidity around their capital. If it was a thousand dollars, it was a thousand dollars, but I needed to say that in a really confident way not in a way that was sort of pleading for some agreement. This peacock is spreading and fanning its feathers in a way that's absolutely remarkable. They want to seem confident. And I think we can learn some things about that. So my proposition is, if we need to project confidence, we need to think about projecting ourselves in a powerful way. I don't need to do that. I am Superman. <laughs> Why is it that people, when they cross a finish line, raise their arms? You sort of thought about some other options, yes? And project a person of confidence. Don't worry about the words, the words will come from the confidence. Gesture and body stance. Often we have a very non-dominant response like this. You start to look down and down. I think some people are particularly wearing headsets, it's almost like the head starts to drop below the, the table. When I stand like this, my suggestion to you is my body, my brain is unaware of my current circumstances. Can I ask this audience, time for some audience involvement? Depressed. Depressed? Yeah. When people are speaking to a big group, they typically move their bodies around a lot. So we need to stop talking. Hi, I'm home. I'd ask you to go back to your workplaces about this particular idea. Happy meeting between being uh, confident, but not overconfident. I'm Jeff Stibart. Thanks for listening to this presentation. Give us a